Hello everyone, welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. My name is Connor, with me today is Yoa. Good day. And Bob. Uh, uh, oh shit. Just say hello, Bob, just say hello. Hello, hello. I'm Bob. Shit. And today, we are on WikiHow. Back on WikiHow, this time to see how to teach educational concepts when visiting the Disney parks. Guys, See, that's I have a, a problem. prime time to do that. <laughs> Guys, I have a problem. <laughs> okay. My yeah. kids, they're not learning enough shit while they're trying to have fun. <laughs> yeah, they're they're going to those theme parks, but they just want to have fun, you know? And They're not even want... trying to learn. Fun's not the whole thing. You've got to learn shit constantly. Yeah. Always. Yeah. There's never a time when you can just have fun. No. I need to make this a learning experience. Life is a learning experience. That means you have to learn all the time. Mm-hmm. So guys, I need your help. How do I ruin their Disney Park experience? <laughs> it's a slippery slope. If you tell them they can just turn their brains off, then one minute they're, you know, at a Disney Park ride just having fun. The next they're just sitting on the couch playing Minecraft 16 hours a day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Playing mm-hmm. that Minecraft trial with, like, a second controller plugged in so that they can keep the <laughs> trial going. So let's begin the article, or at least the summary. Uh <clears throat> Most parents know that the Disney parks can be informative. How? (laughs) Can it? It's informative about Disney stuff. And, like, Epcot is kind of informative, but, like... I mean, if you go to, like, Space Mountain, maybe you get some, like, Whoa, space is cool! That's not informative, that's just an opinion. I mean, space is cool, that is a fact. It's... yeah, that's true. Yeah. When it comes to educational values... Parents tend to slack off in explaining these values to kids. Uh, Well, I mean, most parents don't take their kids to Disneyland to try and teach them. Uh, Yeah, that much is true. So I guess they are slacking off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. We haven't taught them anything about learning. Oh, Uh, crap. We just had fun all day. I told myself that wasn't going to happen. Oh, Oh, man. I'm the worst parent ever. Oh, gosh. How could you let me do that? (laughs) <laughs> it's all your fault. Yeah. When you feel the urge to teach... Whoa, jeez. When you feel the <laughs> urge to teach your kids about educational values... I gotta but don't teach see, my kids. But don't see eye to eye with... Of, <laughs> of wait, these issues. Holy, holy shit, this sentence. <laughs> when you feel the urge <laughs> to teach your kids about educational values, <laughs> but don't see eye to eye of these issues... This article may give you a fresh look on exploring these values. Well, I think, author of this article, you need a fresh look on the values of English language. What the fuck was that? I think you mean the six co-authors of this article. All six of you. It's like they each had a different agenda when they were writing the sentence and they all went word by word. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a story, uh, not story, I've never seen a sentence go like, when you, blah blah blah, this article may. Like, that's not cause and effect, that's just unrelated. Yeah. It's, and I mean, what do you mean feel the urge to teach your kids about it? Edu- Gotta like, teach my kids! You think parents, oh. they're not like, they don't just have like a list of parenting goals. Like, I, wanna, I want my kid to grow up to be responsible. And, and safe, happy, and, and happy, safe, yeah. and you know, like a, a list of goals. Instead, they go, you know, today I'm really feeling like being educational. Gotta teach yeah. my kids. I got that itch in me, but I also don't see eye to eye of these issues. Of these issues with whom? All right. So step one, he's reading a book. Yeah. Uh huh. That's a good book. Good I like start. how the book has like no shading whatsoever. I kind of wish the word book was written on it. That <laughs> yeah. would, like, let me know it was a book a little bit. I don't think it's obvious enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Step one. Be ready to research the subject matter that the ride depicts. Hold, hold up, hold up. I thought we were talking about just teaching, like... Educational teaching concepts. Educational concepts. You're talking about teaching them about Disney parks? That's something different. That's Who cares? That's issue. Yeah. Who gives the slightest shit? Space Mountain was modeled after space and a mountain. Yeah. Did you know space <laughs> is very fast and large? Yeah. 
did you know that mountains are big? <laughs> but smaller than space. <laughs> Look into the various concepts of math and science. Almost always physics-based concepts along with, especially what? in the case of Animal Kingdom <laughs> Park, what the fuck? Biology oh. and evolution. Jesus, that's a parenthetical right in the middle of a parenthetical. <laughs> Along with other educational values in various areas of the park. You can't so, do that. You ride on a roller coaster and you're like, all right, son, I'm going to tell you the physics of exactly what happened. This right? roller See, coaster. Our speed from this drop here, we can calculate it at blah, blah, blah. <laughs> if we like, assume a frictionless environment, then we can... Yeah, yeah. Like, no... It's like, did you know that static friction is different than dynamic friction? It's like, <laughs> oh, stop that! And then you go to that. the, and then you go to the animal park, and you just lay down the entire like his, like evolutional history as far as we know it of like right, all yeah. the animals. Like here, let me show you this chart of equine, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. evolution. Like we have it very well documented. It's like, fuck me, that stop. <laughs> <laughs> You you come across oh Jesus. You're I, laying down the evolutionary I don't know chart. this man. I promise I don't know this man. <laughs> yeah. So then step two, you move from books to giant laptops. That's a really Oof. good also look at that beautiful keyboard. Mm. It's like a What's six that? by six grit. Yeah, yeah, that's enough for all the letters <laughs> and a couple punctuation marks. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You gotta shift, and then the letters, <laughs> and then so that's twenty seven. So an enter, a backspace. Oh, you don't have God. enough for any punctuation. Yeah. Actually, you you also yeah. don't get. You also there are no numbers. We don't have yeah. space oh, for numbers. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. There's the rub. Step two: Research what rides at each of the parks you'll be visiting have any educational value. Oh, research what rides have any educational value. Almost most, almost <laughs> most rides actually have some educational value. Is there like Comma, a grammar ride there, we can send this person on? There, there are some that don't seem like it. What? You know, almost <sighs> most rides actually have some educational value. There are some that don't seem like it. Oh, every part of that sentence was bad. Every part of it. Well, you see, the problem, the problem is that there are no rides that educate you on the English language. Yeah, no, there's no grammar rides. <laughs> we yeah. need a grammar ride. We really yeah. badly need a grammar ride. Maybe if, like, the Page Master was actually a good movie, then they'd be able to build, you know, Page Master Park. Oh, and educate great, kids yeah. on, you know, how to read and how to write. Yeah. yeah, but we're still waiting for that elusive Disney movie about, you know, being able to develop syntax. Or what yeah. about, like, you get, like, a roller coaster that's designed around, like, the the, the 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 tension that's in a story, right? So, like, the beginning has, like, an interesting beginning, and then little conflicts building up to the denouement. Like, you know, you do that, and, like, there's the big drop right at the very end with the climax, you know? And it'd Damn. be, like, a writer's... A writer's a writer's ride, ride. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. There a go. writer's right, and oh, uh, yeah. and and I mean, it wouldn't teach you anything about grammar, I guess. No shit, <laughs> fuck. Damn. No, I mean, because you're designing it to be fun, not to be educational. Okay, yeah. Scrap what I just said. It goes straight, and it just <laughs> sits low to the ground. And the, yeah. the lectures coming at you. It's a coaster that they design so that it takes an hour to go through the <laughs> coaster, and you get an hour-long lecture about writing. Presented by the Great Courses Plus. Yeah, yeah, on the <laughs> also, coaster. Also, the thing is, the thing is, while you're you're still on a rail, but yeah. there's also uh -huh. just like a whiteboard and a guy who's just on a platform that's also on a rail, on a rail. at the same speed as the cart. He's standing yeah, he's just, on his platform, which yeah. indicates just how slow the cart is moving. Yeah, he just stands there without any, you know, without being strapped in because you go and he that like slow. answers questions on the fly. And if you have a question, he'll pause the ride, answer your question, <laughs> and then continue the ride. Yeah, because yeah. his lecture fits exactly within the time span of the ride. Yeah, but the bell will still <laughs> ring after 60 minutes, so if you take especially too long, he's going to really have to rush the last part of the ride. Right. Or <laughs> and, 
has to rush. He has to like double time it and hold on for dear life. <laughs> Or like it's like, oh well, we uh, we didn't get as far as we wanted. Uh, I guess get back on the ride, and we'll continue this next time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and to avoid the disappointment of showing one that doesn't research what values it tries to teach yourself. To avoid you're disappointment me, of not learning. You're telling me you might accidentally take your kid on a ride that has no educational value, and they will be the ones that are disappointed. Yes. Oh, Dad, I wanted to be able to be taught a lesson from the like, Disney hey, ride. Hey, Dad, can we go on Space Mountain? No, son, it's all fiction. <laughs> it's all science fiction. There's there nothing, nothing real there. I can teach you that is grounded in reality. Oh, oh my God. okay. I guess I mean, it makes sense. Oh, thanks for saving me the time, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been time wasted, not learning. Yeah. Yeah. Time only having fun, only having meaningless fun. You know, okay, so there's like, there's a stereotype about Indian parents that is <laughs> sort of true, that like they all push their kids and it's like really, you know, high, high, uh, high, high pressure to like always be learning and stuff. But I think even Indian parents would be like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah. You know, like, my parents were fairly typical Indian parents, and they they pushed me to, to learn stuff in school, and, like, they were always always making sure my education was in line and stuff. But, like, we went to Disneyland, and they never tried to push any of this bullshit on me, because they were like, this is a time for fun. Yeah. This is supposed to be a happy place, not this a learning place. This is recreational time. We recreate now. Yeah. yeah. If you're going, if you're already taking the time and effort to go to Disneyland or whatever, why not just have fun? You know, if they wanted you to learn all Saturday, they'd have just sat you down with like a a textbook a and like a tutor. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. If they wanted to teach me about physics or biology, they would have just pulled out a book and taught me that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which they did on other days. <laughs> yeah. Uh all right. So, the steps you want to take before going to Disney World with your kids when you want to make sure they can be as educated as possible. Cool. Uh, preview the newest copies of the rides you'll be wanting to teach from YouTube. Copies? Copies of rides. Like, I know people like film being on the roller coasters so you can like just watch those on YouTube, but like... So, are you, so yeah, you're you telling me, you're telling me... You're going to try and teach your kids while the ride's going, so you want to get a game plan for what's happening in, like, the two minutes. So that no. while it's, yeah, so while it's going really fast, you don't get, like, a bunch of air in your throat and you can't breathe, you know? Yeah. And like, you just yell at your child, you see, the reason we're going yeah. so fast is because blah blah. Yeah. Now, son, we're about to hit an estimated G-forces of 1.43 Gs. <laughs> and I want to explain to you the difference between this ride and the last ride. And it's really the difference between rolling motion and sliding motion. <laughs> so, so with rolling you motion, you're dealing with static frit Like, <laughs> you know the feeling you're getting at 1.43 Gs. Well, astronauts in training have to experience up to 10 Gs for 30 <laughs> seconds at a time. That's 10 times as many Gs. Like, Jeez, back off. Dad. Jeez Louise! Yeah. <laughs> Jeez Louise! <laughs> Edu education would be more fun if you just dropped bad puns at the end of every lecture. Jeez, I mean, I had, I, ha I had a teacher who did that. It was cerebral. Uh, anyways, then, uh, research on the internet places where educational values can and will be taught. They will be taught. So basically you want them to find libraries in their area and schools? That's not Disney parks. No, no, you got you 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 uh, you're just trying to find the closest library to Disney parks so you can take your <laughs> child out of Disney parks and just go to the library. I spent $150 per person to get into this park so that we can then take a tram over to the library where we yeah, can learn yeah. for free. Yeah. yeah. All right, now that we now that we've ridden that ride, let's break. Go to the library. I'll teach you about it. Uh, yeah, we'll head I'll back teach you to the Disney physics. World, and maybe we'll be able to hit one more ride before it closes. <laughs> Though, if you're going to the Animal Kingdom, you can only get the one ride because you know after that, all of biology. Yeah, yeah, all of uh, it. And then number three, call the Disney parks on a phone. 
Ask them what values the specific ride will teach this kids. <laughs> this kids. <laughs> be willing. So was that to supposed provide... to be your kids? Because that's not even close to this. Maybe or the kids. I don't know how they got to this kids. Uh, be willing to provide the age groupings of each of the kids if they vary in ages. God, the way that makes it sound, it's like, yeah, my son is between eight and thirteen. <laughs> Oh uh, I don't actually know, but I can make a good guess. I'm so, so obsessed with his education, I don't know his age. Like, I think it was roughly, like, eight years ago that my wife was pregnant. Seems like it's been forever. <laughs> also, can I just say, okay, if I call Disney Parks right now, you know who's gonna pick up the phone? A random person. Yeah. Like, a random person who picks up the phone to answer questions. Right? Usually the questions they get are like, how much do tickets cost? What time does the park open? You know, mm -hmm. if yeah. we're, you know, some particularly scared parents might say, if we're in the park after it closes, what will happen? You know? Yeah. You know, they're not yeah. going to have stuff. You think they have like a list of like, oh, well, this ride teaches this and this and this. No. This child, this ride teaches the importance of friendship. No, that's not important. Science, math, yeah, science, always STEM. Well, I mean, dude. values could be anything. Boo! Educational values, dude. V friendship doesn't mean anything oh. to these people. No, yeah. true. Just like fun doesn't. Fun means nothing. You know, yeah. it's not like part of a good worth work ethic is knowing when to take a good break. Yeah. What's a break? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, uh... For the really young children, you can head over to Snoopy Land, where we've got some Legos over there. They can learn about architectural engineering from an early, <laughs> from a really early age. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, oh, it's, it's like, uh, you know, the the dad's like asking about that, and the the ride or the the Disney Park representative's like, well, you know, we, I mean, we have Legos over there. Like, they can build with them. Like, where we, do you mean like? You want them to be able to build and to, like play with Legos? Yeah, we've got those. And it's like, no, 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 no. I'm saying, will they learn like from an actual architectural engineer? It's like, no, of course not. <laughs> Why would we have one of those on the payroll? <laughs> that seems like a waste of money and time and also that money. person's time. They could be engineering some proper architecture or teaching someone who wants to be taught. Yeah, like they could maybe be a professor at a college. Yeah. Instead of being just a dude at Disney Park. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm an architectural engineer. I work for Disney. Oh, do you design the rides? No, I teach the children. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? So, all that, uh, and make it sound like you are planning an educational trip for a class of X age. I'm sorry. Parenth uh, quote, X parentheses age, and parentheses end quote dash, year old kids for an anonymous group of kids. A class of X year old kids for an anonymous group of kids. That sentence is terrible. Everything is terrible. Can, okay, oh, let's, was terrible. let me try to rework that real quick. Uh -huh. Be willing to provide the age groupings of each of the kids if they vary in ages and make it sound like you are planning an educational trip for a class. Okay, so what you say is, instead of that, make it sound like you're planning an educational trip for a class of, you know, various aged children. Yes. Yeah. Done. The sentence is over. Nothing before or after. <laughs> But it has to be an anonymous group of kids. Who Probably. gives a sh It's not like it's anonymous. not like when you if you were if you were doing a, if you're doing an educational trip to Disneyland, like if you were a teacher who was willing to shell out the big bucks to take them to Disneyland because I remind you, it's expensive as fuck. But yeah. you go to Disneyland with a classroom full of kids. Do you think the the people at Disneyland want to know all the kids' identities? They're kids. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? As long yeah. as they pay for their tickets. When like a million fucking kids come through Disneyland, they're not writing down names. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know. What is it like? Yeah, I just want to make sure that my kid, I mean, the kids, and it's like, sir. Wink. Sir, wink. you know parents bring their kids to Disneyland, right? <laughs> sir. 
Are you bringing your own children to Disney World to just teach them educational concepts? Uh, no, no, no I'm a, totally a teacher at a school. <laughs> sir, sir, I have to stop you. If you're te- bringing your kids to Disneyland <laughs> to teach them educational concepts, bring your kids. We'll have a park employee come meet you at the gate. You leave. We will you take your kids on the rides, and then you come pick them up. Because I cannot, in, uh, in, I can't in good conscience let you ruin a childhood <laughs> like this. <laughs> Most kids get to go to Disney parks like once in their in life. Yeah. Maybe like twice. Yeah. At and most, if they are extremely lucky and, and or them. rich. Yeah. 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 <sighs> Alright, are we, are we ready to move on to step yeah, three? I'm ready. Yeah. I'm totally ready. Step three. Keep an open mind and be willing to accept that rides do change over time and that you might be having to add or subtract rides from your must-teach list. I must teach my children Space Mountain. What do you mean Space Mountain changed? Fall! I will will (laughs) teach you the same things that my father taught me when he took me to Disneyland and sat me down and made me learn (laughs) educational concepts. I'm just thinking, like, what about, like, the parent who doesn't take this step to heart and cannot accept that your rides change over time. <laughs> like, you go to Space Mountain, and the you talk to the employee, and the employee's like, yeah, Space Mountain, well, we did, a, like, a remodel a few years ago. And it's like, what? what? Show me when? the old one! When? Yeah. Bring me to the old one! I want to see a manager! <laughs> Where did and- you put it? And then Why is <laughs> Space Mountain the same way I remember it? This is not Space Mountain. This is Space Hill or something else. It's not yeah. Space Mountain. I refuse then, to accept that it changed. And then the, the the parent just takes their children by the hand and is like, Kids, we're leaving. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and the employees go, Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah. sir and or madam. I hope you and had a nice children, time at our park. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, kids. <laughs> I'm gonna take you to a place that hasn't changed. <laughs> so, which is um, nowhere. Nothing has. Uh, <laughs> where? Uh, well, you want to go to Golden Corral? <laughs> oh, that's never changed. You're right. <laughs> Fun fact: the food at every Golden Corral is the same food that's been sitting there since they opened the Golden Corral. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Never changed. <laughs> Just a needless pot shot at Golden Corral. <laughs> God. I've never been to a Golden Corral. We we almost went to a Casey's Super Buffet. That's true. Bob and I fun trip. We can go and he can educate me about the food chain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that country now, fried steak was originally yeah. invented by? Shut up! I'm just trying to eat. Now, Connor, before you eat those mashed potatoes, you know. Did no, you I'm going to eat uh, those mashed potatoes. You shut up now. Did you know that potatoes were brought over from Europe? Uh, you know, in the About, early 1500s or yeah. whatever. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Step four, and look at that guy. Look at those rails. Yeah. That's um. Oh shit. That's how. Oh. That, now, that's the kind of thing that I would want to educate my ki- kids on. Like, hey, yeah. if the ride looks like this, don't get on. That's not yeah. safe. I don't care what the park employees also, say. I also don't want to go on any ride that involves a single cart with two people in it. Also, <laughs> look at the cart itself. It's just, it's a mine cart. It's a box yeah. on wheels. Holy crap. They're doing some minecart Diddy Kong type shit. <laughs> yeah, this is Diddy like Kong's Donkey Kong. Mother flipping minecart adventure or something. I'm just yeah. thinking like, you know, I don't I don't know. Like there's something about the fact that the roller coaster has a bunch of cars that actually makes it more comforting to me. Like I just I want to know that other strangers are there instead of me just making an ass of myself in front of the one person I came with or even yeah. worse, a single stranger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get. You know, that. like I'm freaking out over here because of you know the drops and the, the turns and shit, and the other person's looking at me like, "What a fucking loser!" <laughs> you just yeah. feel well, them at, judging you. Yeah, look at this guy, and it's just us. That's <laughs> yeah. weird. Like it's kind of like if you went to a public bath and you were like you were expected to take off all your clothes or like a spa or something, you're expected to be completely naked, and only one other person was there. 
Well, I mean, <laughs> usually, are, usually you wear a towel. There, there are a couple rides where there really should only be two people. I mean, I think it'd be weird if you know the Tunnel of Love waited until twelve people. I also were think before then it again, got started. I also think the Tunnel of Love would be weird if it had drops and turns. <laughs> also true. G forces. <laughs> The tunnel of real love. Yeah, love is a roller coaster, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. By the end of this ride, you're gonna know if that person is truly the one. Right. Yeah. If they jump out mid-ride, you know they're not the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Only true love will prevail over this yeah. ride. Are they committed to this ride? Then they're committed to you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, step four. Preview the rides in real time yourself. What? what? Hold on, kids. Let me take a test ride before I bring you along. Jesus, are you kids? It looks like the lo- it looks like the line's kind of long. So I'll see you in two hours once I ride the ride. Okay, I'm suddenly starting to understand this article. <laughs> this isn't about teaching your kids. This is about you getting to go to Disneyland. Yeah. This is not about teaching the kids anything. <laughs> This is just an excuse for you to go to Disneyland and enjoy the rides. The fact that your kids are there is just your excuse. Yeah. And then to mask, like, mask that, they're like, what do you do with kids? What's parents' responsibility to kids? Teach them shit. So let's make that the article. Mm -hmm. But really, it's all about... Yeah. It's all about me. Yeah. (sighs) Anyway... Try to see the ride from the viewpoint of the kid. Although almost all rides in Epcot's future world are devoted to educational concepts, there are some who can turn wild and be at disappointment for some. Jesus, what happened in the back half of that? (laughs) Realize you may have to tone the ride down to suit the age group. Hey, uh, Disney employee, can you just slow the ride down? Uh, sir, like, this yeah. ride was specifically designed to go at this speed. Any slower will be unsafe. <laughs> it's unsafe, and also, there are 24 people on this roller coaster right now, and you want me to slow it down for you and your ki- your kid. <laughs> Just get off the ride. I'm trying to put myself in the mindset of the kid who goes, Yeah, woo, this is so educational. Oh, it turned into another thrill ride. How disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> also, Also, I'm trying to put myself in the mindset of the adult who's like, I've got to see the ride from the perspective of a kid. Before the kid gets to get on it, I go on the ride once. Are you... What's wrong with you? Many things. You have limited time at the park. Just take your kid on the first go. And lines are also usually quite long. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, they're talking about waiting in line. The uh entire thing, you go on it once. (laughs) Then you get back in line. With your children. Oh my god. Okay, again, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm looking at the Epcot uh, attractions. Uh And I'm really wondering which one of these starts educational and then just turns into disappointing thrill rides. Yeah, because Epcot is very educational. Oh, uh, like, I went to the Gallery of Arts and History, but then it's like this fake lion jumped out and I had to fake run away <laughs> from it, you know? <laughs> yeah, it actually leads directly into the Haunted Mansion. I was at Reef Fish Disney Animals, but then this shark came up and it looked like it was going to break the glass and eat us all. Yeah. yeah. And we mm-hmm. had to run away. I don't know. I feel like a lot Epcot of these rides the wor- ended running away. <laughs> Epcot is the worst example you could think of for, like... Turning ending in thrill rides. Turning yeah. in, yeah. Because when they say disappointment, they don't mean disappointing to the child. They mean disappointing to this knowledge obsessed adult who refuses <laughs> yeah. to have fun. Yeah. Or doesn't understand what fun is. Oh my god. I mean, okay, so you guys just joked about this, but Connor, please read us step five. All right, step five. Ride the ride one more time with your kids in tow. What? <laughs> so yeah, you're supposed to go ahead of them. You're really supposed to. <laughs> after after you watched the ride on YouTube, you had to, and made sure that it didn't change at all, you had to 100% make sure. 
I have you to know? slap myself to make sure this is real life. <laughs> it, it's not <laughs> is this real me? life, or is this yeah. just fantasy? I must experience it this myself to know 100% that it's verifiably what I think it is. Look, okay, I kind of get it when, like, overprotective parents want to watch a movie first before they show their kids. Yeah. Because they're like, I don't know if this is going to be appropriate for my children. Mm -hmm. I get that. Because watching a movie is not a huge money and time investment. You know, like, uh, yeah. sure, you spend, like, an hour and a half watching this film, but, like, it doesn't cost you $150 to watch the movie again, and it yeah. doesn't cost you an hour and a half of waiting around to watch also, the movie again. Also, you don't need to go anywhere. You can just watch Do it, it at, at home. home. Yeah. Oh, holy yeah, your, fuck. Your kid's not... <laughs> Just sitting around on a bench, drinking a slurpee. Watching you the watch floor, the movie. In the Florida heat, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Florida or California heat. Unattended you know, while you watch the movie. Uh-huh. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. Okay. God. So, ride the ride one more time with your kids in tow. Point out each issue you'd like to mention as you ride, unless the ride is so loud and fast you can't even feel your brain thinking. So yeah, feel I mean, your look brain the, thinking. Look at the picture, son. We're experiencing one point forty three G force. <laughs> son, <laughs> we're going to be kidding. going over there soon. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see that loop de loop, son? We're going over there. Wait. If the latter is how apparent, a loop de loop works is because yeah. of the forces. Yeah. If the latter is apparent, point these points out after writing and note the exact points using landmark areas of information. You so see, it's... when we went through the loop-de-loop, -loop, which is over right over there, you see the loop, you see how it goes up and then down again. That's a loop, son. Y child, you <laughs> might not have noticed because you were having fun, but uh, as we passed the fourth turn, uh, I don't know. Oh my god. Fuck Can it. I just... If, and then, of course, he's like, do you have any issues you'd like to bring up? Yeah, Dad, I just wanted to bring up that you just suck. Yeah. You're awful. You're the worst. I yeah. hate you, Dad. Why don't you just have fun and also, like, let me ride the ride with you the first time? <laughs> so I don't have to sit there and for wait. For, like, two hours. Yeah. Wow, Dad, I got to go on three rides today. It yeah. was great. <laughs> I got to go on seven. <laughs> Yeah, we. I'm. Af I'm yeah. sorry there wasn't enough time to take you with me on that fourth ride. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I wrote it and I just I didn't think it was appropriately educational enough for you, so I decided to just move on. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. The dad walks out with like a ton of souvenir shirts and hats and whatever. He's like, I just had to check the quality of this merchandise. Yeah, and the kid just has nothing. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, guys, we have to go on to step six because look, that's weed! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Hey! Those oh, are shit. weed leaves! Oh yeah. shit. Wait, now that that's I think what? about it. Now that I think about it, this guy has looked pretty baked the entire what? time. <laughs> <laughs> Children, this is marijuana. What even? <laughs> This is cannabis. Damn. How it works is... Well, I mean, Disney World is in California, right? So, And they've got legal weed, so... They've also hey. got... Don't they have Disneyland in, in, in Florida? Well, Florida hasn't legalized the weed yet, but if yeah. you go to Disney World, then, you know, you can stop at the, uh, you know... You can stop Pot Emporium. At, uh, Pot Emporium, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck, what did they think... <laughs> Why, yeah, why weed leaves? Like, why the step, weed? The step isn't even about weed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they recognized they were putting weed leaves on here. I think they were just, like, picture one has, like, stars kind of in the background. Picture right. three is, like, feathers. Four is stars again. So, like, sometimes they just throw shit in the background to spice it up a bit, and they decided to just stamp out a bunch of weed leaves. And for I'll, this I one. can even. I can even tell you how they did it, because, like, in Photoshop and in GIMP, you can you can just cause your brush to jitter, and in Photoshop, you can also cause it to have rotational jitter, so I guarantee they just had, like, a brush, and somebody stamped 
weed at some point for some reason. <laughs> Maybe it was a funny joke. Maybe they made a WikiHow article about weed. I don't know. But they had the stamp of weed. The person saw it there, did not know it was weed, just thought, oh, it's, it's festive oh, nice or something. Five, a nice five-fingered leaf. Yeah, yeah. like, it's, <laughs> and then they just drew or some lines. Yeah, they just drew some lines with the brush strokes different, and that's why, like, up in the top right or top left corner, you can see there's, like, a bunch of leaves kind of grouped together. But then, yeah. like, other parts, it's, like, really sparse. Because that's where they were Went over several when times. When dragging their brush apart, yeah. Exactly. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, was this one big joke, or did the person really not know? I don't know. Well, <laughs> Either way, though. Number six... Give the kids a wide variety of places that they can get taught the values in an educational standpoint. What? Uh, English, please. <laughs> you um, don't even know what prepositions do, do you? <laughs> You're not even sure what that, what the word I just used was. Oh uh, prepo God. what? Prepositionals? Yeah. Pre a pre preposterous? Prepos Preposterous? Yeah. Prep preparation? Pre yeah. Pro pre yeah. Proprietary? I don't know. I have nothing else to say about that stuff I besides what and weed. I cannot tell <laughs> if weed. the child on what? the left is supposed to be a girl or is like a dude with Fred from Scooby-Doo hair. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I don't know. Like, also, is it long hair or is it just thick also also with with the with the um with their facial expressions is look it looks like they're really enjoying the weed just blowing in the yeah. yeah no dad is just looking down at his kid on the on his right and he's just hearing the kid i don't know boy or girl it doesn't really matter kid just going smonk wheat bimches <laughs> <laughs> yeah wow kids the the arboreal section really got better with the weed trees exhibit <laughs> yeah you know the weed trees yeah weed weed's good for you it helps your bones grow yeah <laughs> oh my god uh, got to inject then, all yeah. that marijuana <laughs> but like the actual step like does it say anything we haven't heard before like did it say anything <laughs> Did no, it? moving on. Were there words? <laughs> yeah, oh, good. Moving God. on. <laughs> Step I, seven, and look at that picture. I am so glad that the child up above had his her eye clo eyes closed. Cause, whew. Ooh, look geez. at those eyes. <laughs> look at those weird eyes. Step seven. Let your kids have a say and make them explain how one right educational concept can compare to another right same educational concept without much help. You can, I contrast, them. can I contrast you two different... You ruined them. <laughs> can I contrast two different parts of that sentence? Let your kids have a say. Make them explain. Yeah. So, kids, what did you think? You have to answer. Oh, my God. You hey kids, it. what ride do you want to go on? By the way, when we get there, you'll have to write an essay. <laughs> you did it. You turned them into you. You normalized going to Disneyland to just teach them shit. Jesus. Whoa. The cycle continues. Oh my god. I do god. not understand what form of entertainment I am getting out of this, father. Father, what, what educational is concept it will is be being... taught to me today? Yes. <clears throat> well, we've got some tips and warnings. I really nobody hope nobody asked questions. I really on this hope one of the warnings. Clear. I really <laughs> hope one of the warnings is like, please don't ruin your children's life. <laughs> one of the warnings is just don't do this. Actually, can I just say, like, I think I would rather have parents who just barge in on me all the time and, like, invade my privacy than parents who would never let me have fun. Because at mm. least the parents who barge in on you, like, if they are willing to let you have fun with them, then at least you're still having fun. Yeah. yeah. You know? But, like, fuck. Fuck. Holy shit, that would be the worst. <laughs> yeah. I, uh even yes. the okay, so tips. tips. Even the World Showcase area of Epcot can be educational. Yes, Epcot's supposed to be educational. That's Epcot the entire the fucking most point. Educational. Although it's full of restaurants and shopping areas for the most part, it's a good inclusion to show kids what it's like to travel the streets in that particular country. 
That's <sighs> the point. Yeah. Yeah. That's also, I like that. Although it's full of these terrible things where you can spend money on food and items. Yeah. Again, the point of that is not you're not going to Epcot to a section that's dedicated to some country to buy a burger. That's not <laughs> what the restaurant serves there. That's no, because it it's educational. Serves, it usually serves like probably at least that's what I'm expecting serves the yeah. food that is, you know. Yeah. Somehow this person sick. has fucked up their understanding of Disney parks and think Epcot bad, everything else <laughs> educational. What's wrong with you? Well, you see, Epcot's bad because it's full of restaurants and shopping areas. Some Maybe parents, this- some parents even go, "I know Epcot's educational, and I know my kids just want to have fun, so I'm going to avoid Epcot." Some parents actually think that, and you are having the opposite train of thought. <laughs> Maybe this person really is, like, a complete logical, like, STEM guy and thinks, like, no, I want to show my kids about, teach my kids about physics and engineering and whatever. I don't want them to go to, you know, tour of France. That's full of prissy liberal arts painters and whatever. I get, I just, it's crazy to me, it's crazy to me that we're the people who have to argue this. I'm a mathematician. (laughs) Connor's an electrical engineer, Yell is a chemist, and we're the ones arguing that it doesn't need to be educational. We're the ones saying, bro, go Cool it on the science and engineering. (laughs) Like, chill the flipping flip down and go have fun with your kids at this point. What are you doing? (laughs) You absolute imbecile. You monster. Yeah. I don't... I... I don't want to say don't like kids, but like I, you know, I, I don't. Like I, kids. I'd never work at a daycare it. or whatever. And you know what? I'll take the kid off your I'll hands. Take him. If if I'll you take want your to, kids to Disneyland, hell if yeah! If you want to go, like read theses in the, you know, yeah. If you want at to the just, food court or some shit. If you, if you even, just like, want to coasters. thumb through j- the journal Nature instead <laughs> of doing any fun stuff. I'll take the kid. I'm not a huge fan of taking care of kids, but I'll do it. If you just want to, you know, recreationally browse through Pop Chem, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's, yeah. You can. I wish yeah. you wouldn't. I wish you <laughs> wouldn't with really your weird. kids. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm deep into an IEEE journal. Can I get back to you? <laughs> little little Billy? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry, we'll, uh, I just we'll get sorry. to one of those fun rides eventually. Yeah, my son and I are writing my my speech for the symposium. Uh, <laughs> so I guess we won't have time to go to Disneyland. That's okay, we're still on vacation. Hey Billy, you wanna learn about salicylic acid? No, Dad. <laughs> it's actually a very important you no, know, it's one of the ingredients. I know, to Dad! Aspirin. Yeah. Dad, can I go on the roller coasters? No, son, I haven't ridden it yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, all throughout Epcot and Animal Kingdom, you'll find real citizen cast members of the country's The Land shows. Let your kids ask those employees their questions. Yes, that's the reason they're there. There you go. A proper tip. <laughs> Although you'll need to keep a vigilant eye out to see the fact of who it a cast member and who isn't can be denoted by the special Uh. Disney Parks pin with their name tag, along with various other attributes that can only be learned from life experiences working with people of the dialect only you can second guess. Okay, so remember how I said, when at the start of this tip, I said good tip. I was wrong. Because this is barely English. What did that mean? Oh, no. Who was that? <laughs> Although you'll need to keep a vigilant eye out to see, the fact of who it a cast you know, oh! is, is a cast member and who isn't can be known. Okay, so like, look for people who actually work there. Don't let your kids talk to random strangers. With but then the tag, rest of it was so weird. With their name tag, along with various other attributes that can only be learned from life experience. Huh? Okay, hold on. I think, okay, there's two interpretations that I could kind of, it's like, okay, so these are basically word clouds we're looking at right now. <laughs> mm-hmm, not mm-hmm. sentences. It's not a sentence. It's a word cloud, okay? So let's just try to grab some of the concepts and connect them up. Okay, so maybe. It's, it's kind of it's like how in an electron cloud, you're never sure exactly where. Yeah. You know, where the things same, 
You you can't be sure, okay. absolutely sure at the same Let's, time where and how on. fast an Let's electron not be too is going. Here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so but, like attributes that can only be learned from life experiences working with people of the dialect only you can second guess. Okay, first of all, I'm certain they don't know what second guess means. They have no fucking idea. But but learn from ex- life experiences working with people of that dialect. So that's an at either that is an attribute that can only be learned. So like you're look you're looking for employees and you find someone who you think might be an employee or could just be a stranger in a Disney outfit. I don't know how you get that fucked up, but mm-hmm. you you see them and you know they're actually a Disney employee because they have those attributes that can only be learned from working with or you have understanding because you've worked with people of various dialects and that's how you know what attributes to look out for i have a question i have no idea which one it could be i have no I have, idea so, so have, are you telling your kids like okay go ahead okay what do di how do dialects you know factor into i don't know this? i have are, no are, idea are you is this supposed to mean like so let's say you're in the mexico folk art gallery uh-huh. You know that it's a real Disney employee because not only does that employee have the pin, but they look Mexican. Right. Disney only hires Mexicans to work at the Mexican folk art gallery, or like I mean, only hires French people to work at the. Uh, either that, or they they're hiring France, actors who can do an accent. De France, you know, like yeah. No, if you see some bored-looking white girl in the don't China's, ask her. In the China section of Epcot, you know she's an imposter. Right. <laughs> not not just a visitor, but an, an imposter. imposter. She's impersonating <laughs> Disney employees. Yeah. How? What I don't know. F- she looks like a regular person just Are standing you there. But- this, I can't tell if this is, like, racist or not. Like, <laughs> I can't tell what this is supposed to mean. I don't. You can only second guess it. <laughs> Yeah. Amazingly, <laughs> actually, yeah, I can only second guess this author. Yeah. Because I can't figure out what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And it started off so well, this tip. Like, okay, yeah. just stop at, you know, the word shows. Just stop there. Not, yeah. Well, okay, and then let your kid ask those employees their questions. Then you're done. That's you're done. the tip. The rest, get rid of it. It means nothing. <laughs> Yeah. It has right. no meaning. It's just words. Right. Next fucking tip. Yellow, you <sighs> gave us this one. The Magic Kingdom can be educational to a point for very young kids mainly. If you can open up a teen's mind to the wider values going on with the ride vehicle and science of the ride, Christ. it can also teach these older kids values too. If you're just going to teach them the science of a ride, why don't you just teach them in the car ride too? Disneyland. Yeah. And then just have fun at Disneyland. Or, you know, just not even just at home. Just grab a physics book. If you really need a physical example, grab a Hot Wheels car and you're done. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, son, I don't know how you made it to your teenage years without knowing how wheels worked, but uh, I figure this is a pretty good time to teach you. (laughs) Or if you're like, okay, well, maybe the wheels aren't the thing you want to teach. You want to teach about combustion engines. Fine, grab a copy of Car Mechanic Simulator from Steam, <laughs> and you're good. You don't need to go to fucking Disneyland for that. Dad, please. <sighs> All right, Dad, next if, tip. If, if it was going to be like this, I'd rather just stay at home. Yeah. <laughs> Although most teachers would be willing to give your child work the child can do to prove <laughs> educational concepts of the Disney theme parks, <laughs> make sure to check with the teacher yourself to make sure they won't be missing out on any work if you are going over times when your kids are suppo- still supposed to be in school. Wait, what? <laughs> You're just going to take uh, your kids no, to no, Disney Park no, on a random weekday? No, no, no. You're taking your kids to Disney Park, right? And you're taking... Maybe that's the only time you can get off work so you can take them to Disneyland. But you got to make sure that they still get their schoolwork done from school, which yeah. they're missing, and ask the teacher for homework from Disneyland. So that yeah. you just make the week you go to Disneyland the worst week of their school year instead of the best one. Yeah. <laughs> Parent-teacher conference, you sit down and you're like, Hi, Mrs. Smith, I'm, uh, I'll am i be taking my kid to Disney World pretty soon. Is there any homework, you know, you think they could 
out like some physics know. homework about yeah. rides yeah. About and then when rides. you come when you come back from from Disneyland you say like hey uh so we went and my kid uh you didn't do so great at the, the the knowledge stuff so I'm thinking could you just turn the heat up a little bit in the classroom just really drive that shit home I want yeah. them to really suffer through school I want them <laughs> to hate life after this like I want them to be like be like that old dude at the end of Shawshank Redemption when he gets out of prison and he has no idea how to live life anymore and he just hangs himself. Like nice. like that's what yeah. I want. That's what I want my kid to feel like after they get out of school where they have Whoa. no idea how yeah. to live life anymore cuz they've oh suffered so God. long. Okay. Ooh. I Ooh. also like the idea of uh checking to make sure they won't be missing out on any work like is this going to be one of those useless days or were you planning on like teaching them something? Yeah, while I was, while uh, yeah. Out. I went. I went to India during my my fifth grade year, and like I had to go during a specific time because my uh, my grandfather was sick, and so we went to India. I went with my mom, and we I talked we talked to my teacher beforehand, and for like half of like like a quarter of the year, I was gone, and so because I was gone, there was like a plenty of schoolwork that I had to actually test out of. So like. All the math sections I just tested out of. I was already good enough at math. And then there was, like, history stuff, which, like, I didn't do great at, but, like, I still had to go. So she gave me some worksheets to do when I had time, but, like, she didn't really care. And my mom didn't push it because she's not an a-hole. My mom's, <laughs> my mom's not a jerk. She was like, well, we're going for an important reason. I'm not going to weigh him down with homework that he has to do while visiting his sick grandfather. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Tip five. Make the trip to the Disney parks valuable as well as fun. The more fun the trip is, the more your kids will want to learn from the experiences. This is the first time they've mentioned fun. <laughs> How oh is this God. not step one and only? Step one. Make sure that there is fun at Disney parks. That's not my job. You Which know what? poor, unfortunate fool came mm. in and added this tip, not knowing the true purpose yeah. of the article? Like, okay, so here's the thing. Sure, you can try and teach your child a little bit things during a trip to Disneyland. That's why the Epcot thing exists. <laughs> like, that's yeah. its yeah. entire damn purpose. Take your kid to that if you want your child to teach, you know, to learn something. But otherwise, <laughs> you're taking your child to fucking Disney parks. Live yeah. a little. <laughs> Fuck. You know what? Look, you're already, like, assuming you don't live in the vicinity of Disney, in the vicinity of a Disney park, you're probably taking a flight to a Disney park. And mm -hmm. even if you're driving there, which would be really long car ride, uh, you you you're you're getting there somehow, and then you're shelling out a lot of money on a Disney park, which is primarily supposed to be about fun, and you're hoping to teach them stuff with it. How about we scrap that whole plan? Buy a plane ticket with the money you would have spent going to a Disney park. Buy a plane ticket for you and your kid to Washington D.C., and then just go to the Smithsonian, which is free. <laughs> Just go to this. You'll learn so yeah. much more going to a museum. And yeah. it's free. Yeah. yeah. Oh, speaking of plane rides, uh, tip six. Next tip. Even the plane ride over may show some educational concepts. Imagine that. <laughs> a world <laughs> run by humans will have stuff to teach children. Whoa, we Whoa. have to take every opportunity to teach them everything, always. <laughs> but don't insist on showing every minor detail, as some kids will feel drowsy from waking up early. Potentially, most plane trips will require them to get up early, and they'll be groggy and irritable, which is one said, one said formula for disaster that day. What I think that this day is you a lost, recipe you for disaster plot. for that day. <laughs> you lost the plot in the parenthetical. God damn it. <laughs> Why did you focus on that? Like... You know, watch out, your kid might be drowsy from waking up early and not get drowsy from you trying to over-explain everything. <laughs> also, you know, don't insist on showing every minor detail as the kid will feel drowsy. But if your kid is wide awake, tell them everything. Just bleh, vomit knowledge into their brain. Yeah. <laughs> Warnings. Four warnings. Yeah. Almost there. Warning one. Not all children appreciate fast rides in some places. 
If the ride scares your child, you may need to skip that ride and show them when they are older. Fair. Yeah. Good. Yep. Please Guess don't that, yeah. try and take your baby on a roller coaster with loop de loops. Yeah. Some shit. I mean, they won't let you. They won't yeah. let you. No, just yeah. sneak them in under your coat. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, two, don't just mention that a ride is based on a Walt Disney World movie. That proves that nothing in the ride is educational, which could be disastrous to the plan. The Hang plan. on. What? The master Dad, plan. Dad doesn't know everything about everything. This plan was bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? This is not a conspiracy to educate your children. Hey, Dad, what, what concept does this ride teach? Oh, actually, it's just a Lion King themed roller coaster. Oh my god, my I life has been a lie. Yeah, he's <laughs> not just here to teach me things. Yeah, Whoa. you are not my real father. <laughs> a father. real father would only teach me things and never yes. let me have fun. You have you have failed the mission, father. You are not performing adequately to your duties of educating me. <laughs> You need you to must be, be eliminated, educated, yeah. Father. Yeah. yeah, you are the one who needs education, Father. The government will see to your education, Father. <laughs> the global, per yeah, the perhaps, global agenda. Perhaps <laughs> next trip you will not stray from the mission, <laughs> Father. 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 We're moving on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The lines prior to the ride aren't such a valuable place to teach a value. God, every God fucking damn. time. The lines, God, these sentences. The lines <laughs> prior to the verb. the lines prior to the ride aren't such a valuable place to teach a value. How did you not notice that four words earlier you used the word value? Because they didn't reread. Oh, that's no, not a good just, value. Yeah. Although go. it's although it's good to teach patience as a virtue. Don't harp on that fact. Also, isn't the line before the ride, like, because you need to kill time anyway. Maybe that's a good time to be like, hey, do you see how the ride goes? I mean, it's still not good. Can, can but I? That's I, at least better. a better time to be educational than during the ride. Let me, let me, yeah. let me, tr let me try to, to throw some things at you, okay? Just compare and contrast, okay? okay. Imagine you're, imagine you're in, uh, you're in line. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're waiting to get on a Disney Disney ride you're real excited for, right? Okay. okay. And you're like, it's a long line. It's like an hour mm -hmm. long. Oh, damn. And you're waiting to get on Space Mountain, but you yeah. really want to get on Space Mountain, and you're excited mm -hmm. for all the fun you're going to have, right? Yeah. Think about that feeling you have. You're kind yeah. of excited, but you're also like, oh, man, this line is for taking forever. Yeah, yeah. I now, contrast with mm -hmm. you're in a line. It's going to take an hour. And you're yeah. dreading the fact you're about to you're in a line <laughs> to go to a calculus lecture. Hell. You're in a line that's going to take an hour <laughs> so that you can get to a place you don't want to go. Oh no. Oh, congrats. No. Congrats parents. You've ruined Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Patience as a virtue doesn't help in either of those scenarios. It it doesn't help. It just doesn't help. Yeah. Which is why you don't harp on that fact. Yeah. Just every every single line. You you're not supposed to go like, remember kids, patience is a virtue. <laughs> yeah. Every time. <sighs> and this last one. Final final step. Final warning, warning, I mean. Yeah. Very few concepts, except for hydraulics and some ride vehicles such as the tower or terror. Mm. They mean the Tower of Terror, but they mean the Tower, the tower they say or the Tower or the Terror. terror. Yeah. Yeah. Teach the values of chemistry. Damn. But be prepared to teach some of these values too. Just yeah. completely unrelated to any rides, also teach your child some chemistry. Yeah, for the, for the chemistry lecture that day, you're you're kind of on your own. You need to figure yeah. out what to yeah. do yourself. Sorry. All right, so before while we're in line, like just imagine the other parents like overhearing this. Like they're like, hey, so what ride do you want to go on after this? And they like l look over and they see you going like, okay, so the difference between an acid and a base and how they cancel each other. And like, they're like, what are you, why are they talking? Like, what? what? Wait, now? Like, right now? Huh? All right. Well, we also have some related wiki has. 
Oh, and look I, at that first one. Oh, how, how to have fun, fun at, Disney, at World. Disney World. If I don't even know if this article is good. Maybe it's garbage, but it's better than how to teach educational concepts when yeah. visiting Disney fucking parks. Like, it's like the antithesis to this fucking article. I don't how even to have, have to have fun. You don't even have to like <laughs> Disney in order to understand why this is such a shit tier idea. <laughs> I mean, that's why it has, like, a 50% score out of two votes. Oh, Wait, yeah. two votes, 50%, what? Yeah. <laughs> somebody was, really liked no, one, it and somebody one, yeah. really hated it. The original author wrote a five and one person wrote a, a one. Let yeah. me just log in so I can vote real quick. <laughs> Actually, you know what? If I vote, vote this a one, then it might get deleted. So I'm going to yeah. just leave it. Yeah. yeah just yeah. leave it. Let me at least take a screen cap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just a bunch of random articles about Disneylander. Don't forget yeah. that part of learning about Disneyland was weed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Step oh, six, going back to step six. We've Look gone at that. through quite a, a roller coaster ourselves in this article. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So now, so yeah, th thanks for watching <laughs> us Christ. learn about how the f how to ruin your goddamn child's childhood. Good job, well yeah. done. If if you'd like to teach us something, or you have something else you'd like us to read, you can of course always leave a uh, comment down below, or you can uh, join our Discord server. Link in the in the description where there is a uh, requests uh, channel where you can leave your requests, or you can just come there to hang out with us and a bunch of other cool people. Uh, and, and this uh, is stories to riff. I already uh, yeah. am subscribed to IEEE Monthly. <laughs> Good job. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. So are my kids. <laughs>